We've all got a few quid. What does it really matter? Mm. What's the difference in a rich man and a poor man? Tell me that. I agree. A mindset. Two arms, two legs. That's it. Heart. And we're all bare bums in the shower at the end of the day. But one thing, right, you can have all the money in the world, like Steve Jobs said. He was a billionaire. He was the founder of Apple. But what can you really take with you? Nothing. Memories. Everything on this world will stay here. But you know what? They'll be talking about me in a thousand years. The Gypsy King from England. I don't care if I, if I lose everything. I don't care what happens. Nothing really is ours anyway in life. Mm-hmm. We only borrow it right. until we die and it all goes. Yeah. The only thing we truly own in this life is moments in time. Mm. Now, this is a moment in time for me that will never be erased. Mm. And no matter what happens, this is always going to be my time. Yeah. This will be my moment in time because I lived here and I was a part of this. What one day in your career would you relive? None of them because I live for today. And whatever's happened in the past, I leave there. I don't even go back and watch fights that I've had, ever. I don't relive the past at all because it's gone and I know I can't get it back. And I'm almost obsessed with time. I've got a real obsession with the way it evaporates and the way that one minute we're here and in a minute it'll be like, when I've done that interview with Tyson, it was like three years ago and it'll go like that, bang. And I've really got an obsession with time, so I live for now. For all those people out there who are suffering, I want you to know that Every day for two years was very grey and dark for me. But it will come back great again. You will have sunshine days again. Rose-coloured days warm by the sun. You never know what you've really got until it's gone. Yeah. But I've had the opportunity to be shot down and come back. You know, and you really find out who your friends are, who the people are really behind you, who leaves, who jumps off, and, and everybody just loves a winner. Nobody wants to be around a loser. Nobody wants to be around a man who's lost his mind. So you really find out who your friends are. The people who call you in distress when you're down and you're out, you don't have any more to offer to them. I got my tracksuit on in the morning and I was gonna run two mile. And I got 200 yards and I was totally gone. It was a, it was a horrible feeling. I thought, okay, I'm gonna walk the rest. And I walked. Wow. And while I was walking, I was on my phone and I saw a little video from Deontay Wilder and he said, ha, Tyson Fury let himself down, let his family down. He said, he's that fat, he'd never come back. He said, and I'm glad he's gone because I'd have knocked him out anyway. Just rambling on nonsense here. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to give it you proper. You're my motivation now. Wow. I'm coming back to get you. No matter what you do in your life though, yeah. It all comes down to you, whether you're a successful yep. athlete, whether you're a businessman, exactly. or whether you've got a regular nine to five job. Yep. The, the biggest thing in the world is contentment yep. with who you are and what you are. Well, I believe there's a balance in life and it's a straight line. Normal people are straight like that and they might dip a little bit and then come straight back up. People who suffer with mental health problems, their graph is like that. So how I, how I manage mine is I give myself goals, I need to train on a daily basis. If I don't train for two days, I feel totally depressed. Whether it's jogging, whether it's riding a bike, whether it's going for a walk, anything. You need to stimulate the mind. And I think training is a perfect way to do it. Working out, exercising. Whether you can do a lot or a little, you must do something. I think life's too short for regrets. We live, we learn, we get on with our lives. I never regret like, oh, I wish I didn't eat that or I wish I didn't say that. I think it's all... um, unimportant stuff. What we did yesterday is history, it's not really important. It's about living for today. Not even for tomorrow. Living for today and and being thankful for what we have now. Not for what we want, what we might think we want. I just wanted to show the world that if mental health could bring somebody as big as me and as strong as me and you know the stereotype heavyweight champion of the world to my knees, then it could bring anybody to the knees. And I thought to myself, if I can show the world that you can come back from it, and to get back in shape and get back to the top, then anybody can do it. Like a dog. Never know where my next meal's coming from. You There's a lot to be said for that life. A lot to be said for it. Being a fat, lazy bum with millions in the bank. There's no life at all. Being hungry and fit and being a lion in the middle of a jungle. That's life. Being a fat, old, lazy man, accomplished and retired. That ain't the end zone. 
I was down with depression and anxiety. I put on 147 pounds. I was taking drugs on a daily basis. I was drinking on a daily basis. I was gone. Mm. I was finished. The only place I ever thought that I'd ever end up was in a padded room somewhere. Um, mm. it, it was terrible. I was thinking about suicide every day. And I had nothing to be upset about. I was, I was heavyweight champion of the world. I was 27 years old. I had money, fame, glory, a family, achievements, kids. Everything running so smooth, but... It didn't matter because mental health will bring you to your knees if you let it. If we go broke in the morning and we all have to eat stale cheese sandwiches, if, if people have love, they have everything. If I lived in a cardboard box with my family, I'd be happy because they're in it, we're in it, we're all in it together. There is none of this, oh, you're over there and I'm over here, tally -o, every man to his own ship. We don't rule like that. If one goes down, we all go down together. I was just saying to the boys there while we're doing a plank, right? That your body doesn't know about quitting. Your body doesn't know it's tired. The body doesn't know that it's shaking and rattling. It's your brain. It's your mind that will quit on you. Every single time, your mind will let you down. And I'm doing a plank. And at the minute, my body's a bit shaky and a bit rattly. But I know that the feeling of pain and tiredness is temporary. But the feeling of greatness will last on forever. Never please everybody, ever. There's always going to be somebody who don't like what you do or like what you say or like what you stand for. So the moment you try to make everybody like you, the moment you fail. I only have to make my wife like me and my kids. That is it. And whether anybody else likes me, it's up to them. I'm not trying to please everybody in the world. I'm only trying to please a certain amount of people. And that's it. I just showed the world tonight, everyone suffering with mental health, that you can come back and it can be done. Everybody out there who has the same problems that I've been suffering with, I did that for you guys. You know the truth, everybody knows I won that fight. And if I can come back from where I come from, then you can do it too. So get up, get over it and let's do it. Seek help and let's do it together as a team. I did it for you guys. Positivity, spread it out there. I've got loads of them, just giving it out to everybody. To all the viewers, I hope you can feel it. Positive energy.